Hey folks, Hope here, and welcome back to SOS. Today we have the first event opening on the server, and a new expansion to the base for our villagers. Well, I'm starting a tiny project with pixel rifts in the nether to hopefully let a wither loose in the overworld. What could go wrong? Obviously nothing, because you all subscribe and leave a like on this video to keep me safe, right? Yeah, cool, thanks. Before I address this pillar of ores in the room, let's go back in time a little bit. I decided to stream recently and got a ton of work done around the base that started with chopping down a load of our birch forest to clear a way for a new road. I want to connect to all of my neighbors, so this time we're reaching out towards Scott's base as he is very, very close to us. I do want to keep focusing on bringing the nature into our base, so I thought more water flowing down the mountain could be really good for that. So I added a small creek coming down through our new road all all the way down to the ocean. After that came the early game grind, where we can start to address that large pillar. Pillar of ores. Y you get it. Down to the caves, I need a lot of iron for a few farms that I want to be creating soon, and I figured I could get everything along the way if we just run around here for a bit. I did stumble upon a geode, which was really cool to find, so we could start using our amethyst, basalt, and all of the other goodies that come from it, but there were plenty more caves to explore and ores to pick out, so I kept moving around underground until I started to run a little low on our torches and had to find my way back out before it got too scary, which leads back to the pillar as I silk touch everything to save on the inventory space originally, and I need to start breaking it all back down soon. My friends did stop by, however, so we decided to just hang out and catch some fish to catch up and pass the time, which is why Aura Mountain still stands, but it was great to hang out with them. And most importantly, out of all of this, check this out. I got a mending book and a perfect fishing rod came out of it too. Now, a lot of my tools are getting pretty busted, so let's take this mending book in here, and I think, as always, I'm gonna throw it on my pickaxe. We'll put it on the Silk Touch one, for now is it's only five levels and it's already efficiency five so that's pretty big with the mending we can repair up our pickaxe by tearing down the entire mountain with our other pickaxe that there is a ton of stuff we can start by smelting all of this iron down thankfully i've put furnaces pretty much everywhere around the base so far so uh we can just touch a toss a bunch of stuff in valuables chest is starting to look pretty good we've got what over 80 diamonds too very happy about that now we're meeting up for an event here on the server soon where we will be opening up the nether and revealing the first challenge which i'm very excited for so i'd like to prep a little bit with a building spot for another portal hidden away i'm thinking somewhere down here in this hillside oh you can stay down there under that, please. Thank you. But this way, if it's back here, I'm not going to hear it all the time, which is going to be great. I want to make this building slightly darker than the rest we have so far, as I want to keep expanding our build palette. So we're using mainly jungle and oak for this, stripped, of course, and adding in a little spruce for our roof, along with the cobblestone path connecting all the way to the bottom. I'm very happy with the height of this, as we are going to add some more buildings up here, and I want them to very easily to be able to see over the top of it. So we've got a bit of a winding staircase coming all the way down. Down like this and we've got the entry little hallway into our future nether entrance the build itself is pretty basic so i decided to like zhuzh it up a little bit here with some of our leaves i added some mangrove for some like darker shading and maybe it's like an older patch and started playing around with this way right over here to get up to the top of really kind of messing it up and detailing the street more as i'm fairly confident in saying that the edge of this building soon oops sorry barry will most likely be hidden by some new structure coming up in here kind of connecting all the way over i love the idea of using the buildings of our town here as almost like walls to keep the middle safe and once we get enough of that secured the villagers can go loose but for now let's grab a little bit of our wheat out of here as i'm meeting up with the crew here really soon and i need a lot more food so we got to breed up the cows okay there we go that should be enough as i put almost a stack of wheat into these dudes right there's almost a stack of steak let's just finish that off nope one more sorry buddy and there we go and we got a cow head stick in hand let's go check things out back at spawn where everybody's going to be meeting up shortly hi everybody and welcome to the first challenge of minecraft sos i read the book over here and we've got ourselves a community bundle challenge Woo! Oh! Yay! The goal is to fill five community bundles. For everybody who participates, if we are successful as a group, everybody gets one fate coin. So we can all oh, get a reward out of this. So for the people who've died, you know, we get some extra coins and then they'll be accessible. All the materials for everybody once it's done, we can use all of the stuff. So it doesn't just disappear into oblivion. And you can see the different yeah. bundles in here. And this vault popped up a little while ago that Joel is very intently staring at that. Um, yeah. Are we ready? Joel. Should we go check it out? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, look at this! Wow. Fancy. 
the the special effects. The, the fates have created this. Incredible. And those signs of purple. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. 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 Isn't wow. this cool? Joel, get in here, dude. Oh, you don't need to Joel, what are you doing? Joel, don't be scared. Buddy, don't be nervous. Come on. Come on. He's, He's scared. scared of the dark. We've got the logs over here. We've got what? Animal? Hoofa for hamburgers? I guess animal stuff? Hamburgers. Yeah. Yeah. Orc, you prepared. So that's ores. And then what's the fuel for friends? Okay. So that's like coal and charcoal and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So nice. I'm, I'm going to have so much really fuel. What great names. <laughs> I do have other ideas for getting coal as well. So if we're going to get coal, I think uh, there's projects are suggesting themselves in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be logging. I am the log boy. I was going to say, I and already I have so logging. much food. Sausage, how many, how many seeds did you say you'd planted again? 8,960. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this man is unbelievable. If somebody wants to help me transport him. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'll help you out. Let's go. <laughs> it's yeah. been a couple of weeks. I would like to become a what have you it's done? been three, sir. Do you see you his armor? Late? So Sorry, this guy's some dented little That's iron armor over here. What are you doing? Hey, yes, now. It's hey, diamonds, yeah. but I'm not poor. Well, all right, I'm not poor. It's okay, almost three weeks in, That's and you you're did. wearing unenchanted iron. You look a little poor to me. I've got diamonds at home. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You come here, Jim. You're coming with me. Yeah, we don't I need all. I'll do what he's doing. We're logging. We're, we're logging over we're here. We're logging. We're log boys. We're logging in. We're log yeah. boys. Log. How long do we have to hand this in? That's a great question. We've got just under two weeks to be able to complete all of these before this is sealed. So we've got a snap mm -hmm. too. Oh. Time is of the essence. If we don't get all five of them, uh, then well, uh, I don't want to know what happens. No coins. I guess you get to live off whatever's left you. behind if you can find it. Well, I guess we head out, see what we have, and then yeah, start yeah, yeah. working from there. Quick question: Are we going to be able to access the Nether at this point? Yes. Ooh, the Nether yeah. is now open. Hey. Okay. Ooh, good. Okay. That, I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Never go in there. <laughs> that means my plan for coal is going to <laughs> move to phase two. I think right. you and I I'm need to have a conversation city. about yeah, yeah, this no, we, one. We do. We do. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely I've, I've do. been thinking <laughs> yeah. a similar thought, thought into you there. All right. We'll talk. We'll mm -hmm. talk. Right. We got to go get the horse. So then I got to get my fortune pickaxe because we can use that to harvest all the carrots and get a bunch of bonus. I guess he mostly said he has wheat, but we'll find out. All right, buddy. Let's get... Nope, nope, not typing into the sign. Let's close the door behind us and let's get going. Hi, everybody. Are we, are we ready to go farming? We're ready. Look, we have... Four pods, four pods, four people. We got, we're good. Dude, I got the carrots. Let me get at them. Go. Uh, he's ready. I hope we don't have to replant this sausage Yeah, I think so. I'm art. My my inventory is already almost full. <laughs> my inventory is almost full. Hi, right, my inventory is already already full of carrots. Where do I put the extra carrots? I don't know in where the barrels in the middle. In the barrels? <laughs> okay, there's almost a chest of carrots already. Right. Third inventory of carrots is full. I'm going to just replant and uh, pick these up as we go. We're such winners. Yeah, you, we're so well, we're so good at chest? this game. Well, that, that oh, we're so, we're so good at this game. Don't even I am oh. also All right, I'm throwing the carrots in. Later. It's right. just going to take I'm a little while for them to count down. Oh, we'll be here for a while. No. Yay! Hey! We did it! One bundle down! down. Where are these log boys at? Yeah. Oh. Point time, point time. Point time. Oh. Oh. Who, wants Who wants to go to the nether? Wait. Oh, oh log boy. Oh, did you log boy? Yeah, I'm, lo I'm a log boy. What's, what's going on? Oh, how's log boys doing? I don't think we've got one log yet. It's it's been 30 Ooh, minutes. Ooh, I thought you guys were going to beat us, log boy. I didn't say we were going to beat you. Uh -huh. Oh, they're going to the nether without me. Sorry, I'm on to the next one. Catch you later. Bye. So oh, sick. Good spawn. Good spawn. spawn. Good spawn. I, I have a little bit of cobble for uh, for some gas proofing. Yeah. I, I brought nothing, I but I do yet. want soul sand. We were able to quickly find a fortress nearby, so the group set out to gather up everything, and I got pretty lucky right away. Ooh. Oh, I wanted to see what that was, but you took it. All right, any, ooh, another wart. Wart? Oh yes, we got, we're gonna make a field of warts. The fortress was absolutely full of every type of nether mob. So I had to battle my way through pretty much everything. The group found a blaze spawner buried in a tunnel that was quickly turned into a semi-safe place to gather blaze rods. So I hung out in there with Scott for a few to get my potion brewing setups ready to go. Come on, in my face, in do my it. face. Do it, do it. <laughs> Come on! Yes! 
There's my coin. There's my coin. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that I had my coin from Return to Sender, I had to mess with Sausage a little while he tried to get his extra coin. Hello? Look up, idiots, little marshmallow. Up here. Do you have Feather Falling? Oh my god. Yeah, Feather Falling 3. The Feather Falling 3! <laughs> Only 3! He's coming up, he's coming up. Look at him. There's two of them now. You ready? My, am I lagging? Got him! Wait! How did he get it? <laughs> you saw it! This is gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited about our first event being live, finally. And it seems like everybody's really interested in adding to it. So I'm really happy to hear that because who have been a long time figuring these out. Sausage was crazy for having all those fields down and the nether trip was really fun. But I was thinking we've got a ton of birch logs in here and we could say nine stacks for now. Not too much else I'm willing to part with quite yet. So we'll have to do some extra chopping. And I did cook down all my ores that I got earlier. So we'll just throw a stack of gold and copper in for now. Come with me, buddy. We're headed to spawn. Great. We can park you down in here and it's still just the crop bundle ready to go. And we can throw all of our logs in this guy. We'll let those count in and then we can throw our two stacks of the ores in here. Yeah. Excited. I know it's pretty cool, huh? Don't, don't look at the hamburgers. Don't, don't look at the, don't look at that one. I've actually got to go run back home and drop my horse off and come back here because I'm meeting up with Pixar in a second as we want to get started on that wither skeleton farm so uh we'll see how this is gonna go we've got this do we want to box off the place where we want them to spawn and create like our 100%. little safe around that and then we yeah. can uh work on the rest what i'm thinking is early days we turn this into one of the ones where you run around on flower pots and you can just get eye contact with the wither skellies once we get access to the end we turn this into wither rose platform and we do basically everything else you would normally do with a wither skeleton yeah well, yeah 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 flower pots i can handle for sure i've got a few stone masons so i can get a ton of bricks really easily uh the other thing to note right now is this netherrack platform is only one block thick so uh if you hear a gust and it sounds like it's shooting run. at you run to something solid <laughs> run got it okay can do that With base spawnable area ready, we can start to slab with all of the stone I have in my inventory so far. I'm just going to try and slab this area really quick before the blazes respawn. Not that it's going to fix anything, but it'll at least make it a little bit safer for now. All right, I reckon back to my base for a few more fire resist potions. <laughs> we can stock up on those and then okay. grab a bit more stone and then back at it, I think. Yeah, I'll go get the flower pots and I'll go get the rest of the glass so we can finish the box in here and then we can keep on moving. Back at the base, let's grab a little bit of our birch, craft all this down into planks and sticks from there, which we can trade with this homie over here for just a few emeralds. That should be enough as we can turn all of those into bricks. And there goes all my emeralds. There he is. I've got a ton of glass and I've got a bunch of bricks. I made a stack of flower pots, but I'm assuming we're going to need more so I can craft them as we go. I have uh, five fire resist potions for you and five for me. So Perfect. That's, our, Perfect. that's our time budget right there. About okay. 40 minutes. Yeah. I have a lot more inventory space if you need, if I should go grab more stone from yours. Sounds good, actually. Sounds like a, a good plan. I guess alternatively, uh, you could have five of these fire resist potions and then I can fill up with more stone as well. And then you can just grab whatever you've got. Yeah. Room for. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you've got a little bit of stone. Tons. Um, yeah, my Twitch chat worked it out earlier. Two million blocks. I'm gonna be digging. I I'm sorry for your uh, for your <laughs> sanity. Good luck with that. The killing area is basic, but it'll do the trick. So we just need to continue slabbing to get some real results here. Oh yeah, we got a couple of guys in here. We got some dudes. Hi, dudes. Pix had to jump off for a little while as it's getting kind of late into the day over there for him. And I want to jump back in and keep working. But uh, this basic bow is not really doing it. I do have two power four bows with flame and unbreaking three here from all of the fishing I've been doing. So hopefully we can combine them and they have enough durability. That'll be six levels and then that's 12. Okay, I think that's going to be working in our favor. And that's a decent amount of durability, especially at breaking three. Any luck? No, I've got no arrows in here either. Okay, right. Uh, we're just gonna have to risk it, I guess. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. Let's grab our flint and steel here. I built this house earlier. We can hook our own nether portal up. I don't need to walk to spawn. Let's hope this doesn't sink the spawn's portal because we are very close. And a new one, nice. 
So I'm down there, and spawn is right there. You know, at least that's a lot less blocks than the overworld. Here we are back at our lovely nether fortress. Are there any skeletons down there? Has the farm been working at all? No, I probably shouldn't run in there, though. That seems like a little dumb idea. Right, well, I've got a lot of grind work to do, just laying down this whole inventory worth of slabs and uh, gotta get to it. Well, I ran out of slabs so with just this little gap here left to finish, but I managed to cover everything all the way. Oh, I forgot that too. Dang it. Well, although that's covered, slowly getting there. Slowly. I'm trying to tackle the side that we walk in from first and foremost, so that when we're walking in, hopefully this thing is spawning and it's spawned a few. Ooh, I really need to get looting or this isn't really worth it. But for now, hey, how you doing? Come over here. Go. Cool. Mm, coal. Coal's good. Coal's good. That's for the bundle. I kept slabbing away for a little while longer, but I was getting pretty bored with the grind. So I jumped into a call with Shovel and Ollie for a few hours and just kept placing slabs down with the entertainment of actually chatting with my friends. I've placed nearly 14,000 slabs. I've been doing a little bit of checking over here, but man, I had all of that being completed. I was just hanging out with Shelby and Ollie for a good while, just placing some slabs in, but we're almost nearly done. It's a lot of slabs, okay? It is pretty late at night though so i'm gonna be logging off to here i send an update to pics and maybe if i wake up it'll all be magically done maybe hopefully right it is the next day now and there are some new slabs so it looks like pics has been doing the whoa hello no no okay right pics has been doing the work hello we've got a ton of skeleton friends here oh <gasps> my first goal my first goal Wee! yes oh that's huge oh, no 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 fire please no fire please <gasps> a sugar skull i don't even have looting yet i don't know what type of luck this is right now but oh, we have two skulls already ah that's so good oh my gosh that's amazing it looks like there's a new pathway coming all the way back here and i'm assuming this is the respawn point so i'm curious if this will make the whole wither skeleton farm be filled up again we got to get working on those wither roses which these uh skulls are going to help out with a ton and it looks like all the piggies are still taking up the cap okay that's fine turned on hitboxes real quick so we can more easily spot things that we need to get rid of and right yeah just a little bit more stone needed and we might be able to wrap this all up i decided to jump back home and get to work on finding some looting for my sword here so that we can get even more coal and fill up the bundle as i've been spending a lot of time slabbing in the nether and i wanted to see the blue sky so naturally i'm down here in a box underground with my zombie farm but we're up to level 34 so that's a few enchants we can try what are we looking at for the first one smite four nope not what we want and do i have empty books in here prot three okay let's spend a single level just to reset efficiency four though that could be good to hang on to put you back on the shelf please be good it's terrible well no luck there oh i've got to change my sign though oh we've got fortune three already days without looting three there has been up for like 10 days something like that yeah enchanting isn't working but we can try with villagers and well i honestly just want more villagers here in my town village thing so i'm gonna be a little risky here hopefully this doesn't backfire on me but let's bring in some of our trapdoors along here well i guess i could just flip those guys up and that'll still work yeah save some trapdoors then we're gonna tear all of these out and everybody can be free but they shouldn't be able to get out of the house yeah you guys can just roam around in here and then if i clean up these trapdoors instead of these being their little cubicles they can now be where their workstation sits and these dudes can just hang out in here i can come over and shear all of my sheepies use some of our extra birch logs and we can make ourselves let's go 10 beds for now and they're just gonna be set up here out in front of the house so that those villagers can actually see them should have a bunch of hay in here that we can yeah we'll just take all those turn that back into wheat and make ourselves bread and this can be a pseudo villager breeder for now well the villagers were getting busy i also was getting busy by building up a new house that our villagers can call home here inside of the village a place for the free roaming citizens to have beds to return to safely every single night and we have four new villagers in the city here. Two decided to become farmers, I guess. And one over here is another mason. What do you guys train? Wheat and carrots. Wait, that's actually really good. But we can pick up all of these beds. I'm hoping I can move them inside the house. It's going to be a wee bit cozy here inside of this. Uh, I guess it's kind of a 
domicile of sorts just because there's not really a whole lot of space other than just beds but I'm really happy with how it turned out I added a bunch of extra details we got some ferns hanging from some iron bars over here we've got another little plant there I really love this fountain I added in some small storage right over right here we got the road we got a composter and some more bushes and uh the ends aren't super detailed again as there eventually will be a building here most likely but I do want to come up above with our trap doors and flip some there and we can add a few shutters because I think we're just missing a tiny bit of detail around the windows that looks a little weird in there but we're just gonna leave it I think I have enough oak trap doors to make it around but we'll see uh we're missing one wall but that's okay that's the side that the building's gonna be going on and I just have one window here on the back because again we're probably gonna have something coming up connecting right there to bring it down into the land but our villagers are starting to actually venture down into the fields and do things for us which is kind of fun so soon they might be fully self-sustainable but for now let's take our fortune pickaxe and gather up all of the carrots and we can just help them along a little bit here now where was that farmer with the carrot trade was it you no is this your job that is your job yes there we go okay that's much better we can trade all of these to lock him in so he will keep maintaining the fields and we actually have some emeralds where's the other one you like carrots too give me some of those I was planning to give it to them so they could would keep increasing the population but uh oops I got a bunch of emeralds I did get a good amount of bread here from the wheat field so we can just give that where are they there's the farmers we'll give it to them because they seem no yeah there you go don't you dare you just composted that bread so rude the whole goal of this was to get a librarian that we could maybe roll for looting so let's grab ourselves a lectern here and I don't believe we have any villagers that don't have jobs yet so I'm just gonna toss it in here for now and maybe when that little guy grows up he wants to be a librarian yeah it's really cool career you love it you to read books all day yeah it's pretty cool in the meantime i know where i can find a bunch of carrots oh my gosh they finally cleared the trees oh, i don't have to go on top of the forest to get over here and that's a really big tree huh okay that's that's there now i'm out here because when we were working with sausage to complete the farming bundle there were tons of carrots that got left in oh where did he put them let's go see if they're in storage i got like three barrels full of carrots out of that field i know he's got extras aha here we go i knew it they'd be in the windmill ready to go he'll never notice if we just uh take a okay that's a little too many we'll just yeah we'll just do that that's fine back at home we can drop off our horsey who i still have yet to name and uh hopefully this works i'm just gonna give you a bunch of carrots and please don't compost them like your friend did okay you can just pick up no you're composting them don't compost them and now his inventory is full of carrots okay that should mean hopefully we get a bunch of more village 39 for a single emerald yeah we're coming over here small update here as I've been doing a little bit more enchanting and we've got another sharpness for unbreaking three sword which is huge and then I got a looting two book not quite looting three but you know it's it's a lot better than having nothing doesn't look like any villagers have found my workshop up here yet so we can do that 13 levels 11 levels nice and then we'll throw the looting two on it and that's a decent sword for now there's fire aspect two in here but I am down to level 11 so uh we're just gonna forget about that for now I did also get an unbreaking three book and my chest piece doesn't have anything on it yet so hopefully we can yeah three levels perfect that's full unbreaking three on all of our armor we just need to get some mending on it our villager friends have appeared to have made it up to the edge of the mountain and uh this is completely spawnable so we're just gonna do a few ugly torches on the slope oh yeah that's why no thank you sir no thank you I wish I could say I staged this I I was in the middle of getting a cinematic shot and then this guy grew up he's got looting three I need to go get some paper right away where are you buddy yeah we're gonna lock that in right away and aqua affinity wait and ooh, lanterns too oh we think 12 levels can do it I'm gonna say no oh nine <laughs> yes and we'll grab an aqua affinity because why not I love seeing all the little villagers running around look at them they're so funny oh I'm really happy I decided to let them out it just well I guess the original four are still in here I'm decided I gotta let everybody else out so that they can experience the village oh this is gonna be so fun and we can put aqua affinity on our helm sweet okay now I'm down to two levels I'm trying to consistently make little bits of progress on the base while playing because man I just keep finding myself wanting to go talk with people on the server and catch up with my friends as being on an SMP again has been so fun so I'm really just kind of letting myself enjoy those moments instead of really pressuring myself to be like I've got to record and make a massive video I feel like this is kind of part of the fun of the SMP is just interacting with the friends and seeing where that all takes us and apparently it takes us to a wither skeleton 
construction farm today. Base building construction is done. And I got my looting three. So let's grab a little bit more stone here from Pixel Rifts. Wow, it looks like we've been going through his reserves. Nope, there's plenty. And back to the slabbing we go. I'm a little busy. I got a job to do. Pix has done a ton of work out here. So I ran around to grab the last few spots that I could see Piglin spawning in at while trying to clear out my inventory of all of the stone I had picked up from his base, which unfortunately lasted into another run to grab a whole extra inventory of stone and come back to place an even more slabs down in the perimeter as I kept finding small spaces here and there where piglins are spawning in. I think I've done it. I think I've nearly got in every single spawnable space and every single time I come back here, the rates on this farm are just getting more and more crazy, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at all of these. If we can get one skull off of this group, that's enough to spawn a wither. I'm definitely gonna anger the piggies here, but that's okay. Please. I am so excited to get wither roses in here to turn this into a wither skeleton only spawning area, but whoo, man, that was a battle. Sweeping edge was also help a ton here, but we'll get that soon. Oh, I got a magma cube head. What sound does your head make? And they're already respawning, which means there's nothing else around. Okay, I gotta try running away. We gotta see how this works. And a lot more zombie piglins, but there's two wither skellies in here. Okay, it's speeding up three yeah there's another oh yeah this is gonna do nicely right here and there we go with the third wither skeleton skull it's time to summon a wither oh boy i'm taking my zombie piggy head back with me too i've now placed over twenty thousand stone slabs it's my now most used thing in this entire server it's almost twice using a diamond pickaxe what the that's a lot of slabs got a little bit of gold smelting down in here as uh it's time to fight some withers we've got a bunch of people online right now and pix is prepped up over over at his base so we have a killing spot and uh there's my skulls and uh i don't know no i do have soul sand there we go i've got two apples yeah i don't see this going poorly at all no it's gonna be totally fine and two golden apples should be fine for two wither fights yeah i'll be all right are we ready for some withers we are ready for some withers so first of all uh check out the chest behind here i've been stashing all oh. of the fuel for the, the bundle in there so uh <laughs> all right i've got like three or four stacks of coal back at mine from the farm too so Mm -hmm. We can start filling that thing up. I do have to know before we do this, mostly just out of curiosity, because I want to know how many we placed. How many stone slabs have you placed now? Because I'm at just oh. under 21,000. Good question. Uh, stone slabs, 23,800. Jeez. <laughs> And I have enough material for three withers just sitting in my inventory. Oh, so, love it. Uh, I got enough for one for me, and then uh, I'll help you kill as many as we can, and hopefully we don't die. I, I get one for this area. I think one beacon should cover all of this, and then we spend the other two setting up the uh, the beacon boys uh, shop. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. Be, No, that's going to be Literally the first shop on the server is going to be so, so good. I did also bring strength two potions, so Ooh. if you want one of those, I can, yeah. uh, I can chuck you that. That would be great. Okay, yeah, I'll pop that before right before we summon him okay here we go all right three two one Whee! yeah there we go <laughs> all right i'm just gonna take the strength now and i'll uh, let you clean up with the bow first right. oh oh he's already going up no i can hit his toe i can hit it to the bottom of his feet perfect all right he's oh, yeah. now at melee i'm going in easy easy oh he's so dead easy yeah. there we go <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Sweet, there we go. Oh, I got a yeah. blue wither projectile head now. All right, let's go. Same idea this time? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take the uh, the shots this time. But All right, you got it, you got it, you got it. To go. You got it, I believe. Oh, there's some free skeletons. Maybe that's a wither rose? Oh, I, torch, torch, I got your torch back down. Don't you worry. Okay, there, all good, all is good. he good? Yep, he's good. Let's go. A little bit withered, but I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. I'm taking damage now, but we're good. We're good. And he's down. There we yeah. go. Oh, we there got that different go. wither head this time. Nice. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's see if I can get his toe two, again. I can't even see him, but I just know I can hit his hitbox. <laughs> torches. Torches. All right. There we go. He's down. All right. All right. All right. Yep. 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 Circle. Woo. He's doing a little bit harder without the strength. Nice. Oh, baby. Very Ooh, good. Diamonds. Very good. Make sure to heal up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How many do we got? All right. We can, we can split these. We can split these. Oh, I got silk touch here. Let me put this one back down. You can you can break that one. Four diamonds. All nice. Right. Not bad. I, I I got eight from that. Pretty oh, good. Oh, wow. Okay. Here you go. Six and six. Let's, uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm on you both got him. This you time. got him. Go yep, for yep, it. Yep. Dang, I didn't even have to use a single golden apple yet. I was expecting these to be a lot more deadly. Oh, there. Oh. I hear him now. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. Okay, there we there go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. We got plenty of room. Okay, I'll be coming down in a second. He's coming down, but he's not in the tunnel. He's over top of the tunnel. I'll go behind him. Woo! Okay, there we go. There we Woo! go. No damage, no damage that time. I got three Incredible hearts, but it's okay. Work. Look at all this you're good, material you're good, you're good. over here. Um, yeah, what, what have you been up to? Uh, getting one of these. Oh, oh goodness <laughs> me. All right, fair enough. Flexing just just on getting one of these. <laughs> just this, just the small act of getting three wither skulls and then killing the wither. Well, actually, in the process while you're coming over here, I was actually just kind of uh, doing one of these. Oh, damn. A, a welcome <laughs> gift for me. That's so oh, kind yeah. Welcome you. back. Oh, it's great yeah, to see you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll murder you right now. I know you're in the armor. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, I'm actually headed to spawn right now because I got a bunch of coal to turn in for the bundles. Oh, lovely. I was about to get a bunch of logs. I was going to chop down a bunch of logs. I haven't done anything to do with that yet. And it doesn't look like it's been completed as far as I can tell. No, it looks like logs, animal, like food, so like animal stuff. And then uh, yeah. coal, I think, are the last ones still left. Uh, well, let's head over there then. What, what do you think? What's the quickest way for you to get over? We got yeah, the we road right now. here. I don't, did you, you see the path? Road. Yeah. I seen the, I, I've been taking the waterways this entire time. <laughs> yeah, I linked it up into yours. I put a little signpost down. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, All right. I think Pix oh, is whoa. around here somewhere. Oh, dang, if I'd taken this path, I would have seen this. Yeah, you would see the little signs. I got your name. I got Spawn. Oh, I got me and too. Scott. I was on literally before I started stream and I ran this way. That was about half an hour ago. Did you manage to do this? In that <laughs> no, time? this has been here for like a week. Oh, okay. Wow. That's crazy. I'm just so blind. I just ran past him all the time. Hello there. Hi. Look what I made. How's it going, man? Oh. Oh, I already did shiny, it. Shiny, shiny. Yeah, it's a big yeah, shiny. I, <laughs> I, I, I just did mine as well. I wasn't going to place it down because I'm like broadcasting the achievements. But yeah, I... Uh, you actually I have ha to place have it mine. on a beacon. Like on yeah. materials. So I, I didn't... It didn't work here. It's just a lamp. You can do it on a three by three of iron, but then... Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> The I will sword waste the Bitcoin on that. So no question. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. And I will make you wait until there's a minute left on that timer. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've I come see. over here with 11 stacks of coal to throw in right now. So I'm going to pop that cool. in and get it to start it, to, this, start it to count it down. Counts. Nice. I have nine stacks of coal and two stacks of blaze rods to add in. So people can uh, choose if they want to fuel some furnaces yeah. or some brewing stands. No, I've got some sticks. Do those count? <laughs> not, not quite really the caliber of the fuel, fuel, I think, so for. you know. <laughs> All right, Pix, looks like we got... It's counting down now. That's the last items in, and uh, it's not full yet. I guess we got some more mm. work to do. Yeah, yeah, well, I can I can use the farm a little bit more. I don't mind that. And yeah, I've got tons of coal still left in my circle, so we can yeah. we can make it work. No, we, I, I that's got to be at least half of it. Yeah, this we've got to be getting pretty close on the fuel bundle. Okay, so we got that, and I guess logs and animal produce still needs to fill up. Right. Guess yeah. we got some work cut out for us. You know, I think today's been a pretty successful episode. Look at this. We got ourselves a beacon. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I don't have the base to be able to actually, you know, build a beacon to do big projects or anything like that yet. So uh, we'll have to work on the iron soon. Or maybe gold. We keep going down the nether route. What do you think? But this has been so fun releasing our villagers out here into the city to roam around. They are finding jobs all over the place. Look at this guy. We got ourselves a weaponsmith. We got a fisherman. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really loving this. This is going to be so fun seeing them around all the children running is so fun i wish there was a way to like keep villagers as children so they just keep running around and following the adults for some reason i just find it hilarious especially with the enemy back look at him he's so fun well that's gonna do it for today's episode thank y'all so very much for watching please be sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and i'll catch y'all on the flip side